Welcome to the Green Acre, and more specifically our latest project, the Armory. As a lifelong outdoorsman, I participate in many of Wisconsin's legal hunting seasons. However, there's one season in particular that is near and dear to me, Wisconsin's annual nine-day gun deer season. I've taken part in the season with my family since I was a young boy. My father taught me to treat my firearm as well as the whitetails we pursued with respect. There's truly something special about the bond you form with your firearm. How it becomes an extension of your body and an efficient tool for harvesting game to feed the family. Over the years I've continued to grow as a sportsman and so too has the desire to improve my gear. My current rifle, which you may recall from the Great 8, is a Remington 783 chambered in 30-06. For being an entry-level firearm, this rifle is surprisingly accurate with Remington's core-locked ammunition. I've already taken some small steps to improve the function of this rifle, including a tactical-style bolt knob, which makes it easier to grasp and operate the action with thick winter gloves on. I mounted a Nikon 3-9x40 rifle scope with sunshade which cuts down on the glare when viewing a target in the general direction of the sun. This also acts as an added layer of protection for the optic. A bipod adds stability to situations where prone shots are an option. Plus it looks absolutely incredible. Lastly, a sling frees up your hands for glassing and makes walking great distances more comfortable. These additions have certainly improved the functionality of the rifle, but haven't done much in the way of accuracy, which brings me to my next upgrade, which could be the single most important upgrade this rifle receives, the stock. From the factory, this rifle comes aluminum pillar bedded to its synthetic stock. It does the job, but certainly leaves a lot to be desired aesthetically. One of my biggest issues with the factory stock is that the plastic forearm makes contact with the barrel, meaning it's not a true free-floating barrel as marketed. This can reduce consistent patterning, meeting a loss in accuracy. I'm going to fix that with a product I've been eyeing up for years now. This is a Boyd's At One Thumbhole gun stock. Beyond being absolutely gorgeous, the stock allows you to precisely adjust your length of pole and cheek weld with adjustable comb and butt pads. The thumb hole allows for better finger placement and control over the trigger, as well as a more solid grip on the rifle, resulting in less felt recoil. I'm going to get started on glass bedding the action of our rifle to the new stock. Hey, post-production me, do you mind narrating this for the viewers while I work? I'd be happy to, talking head, Michael. Great, thank you. Though I ordered optional aluminum pillar bedding in the stock, I'm going to go the extra mile and glass bed the action to the stock for a perfect glove-like fit. The takedown process for this rifle is fairly straightforward. My scope is already sighted in to this barreled action, so I opted to leave it on through the process. Boyd's hardwood gun stocks are engineered to fit your firearm precisely. Every gun stock is dried to exacting specifications and sealed with chemical resistant finishes for long lasting durability and performance. In all honesty, I could throw the action bolts back in right now, call it a day, and this rifle would perform flawlessly. But, that's not very exciting, now is it? By grooving out specific areas of the stock, I'll be able to add more bedding material, ensuring both better adhesion between the stock and the epoxy, as well as a more uniform epoxy thickness around the action.
Taping any surfaces on the stock that you don't want bedding material to stick to will greatly ease the cleanup process. I'll be using ProBed 2000 in black for this project. The kit is available from Boyd's and comes with everything you need to bed a single rifle. The kit comes with modeling clay to fill areas of the action you don't want epoxy to flow into. I opted to permanently borrow some of my kids' old Play-Doh to fill larger areas. The kit also comes with an ample amount of release agent which can be applied and buffed off before bedding. I found ProBed 2000 to be incredibly easy to work with. The ratio is a non-critical 1 to 1 mix by volume, meaning eyeballing is perfectly acceptable. The epoxy is workable for a few hours and after fully cured is very easy to clean up. After liberally applying the epoxy to the stock, it's time to drop in the barrel to action. It's important to take your time as to not introduce air bubbles to the epoxy. After loosely securing the action bolts, I clean up as much of the excess epoxy as possible. Trust me, this will make separation and cleanup much easier later on. After verifying that the barrel is free floated, it's time to let the epoxy cure. I'm not gonna lie, I spent 45 minutes trying to break the barrel action free from the stock. With a little bit of heat and some more muscle, I was able to free the barrel to action. It looks a little rough right now, but it cleaned up well. It turns out bedding in front of the recoil lug on this gun was a poor choice. The epoxy filled the grooves of the barrel nut, virtually putting the barrel to action in a vice grip. After an hour of cleanup, it's time to reassemble.
This trip to the range was the first time I've shot this rifle since pulling the trigger on the Grade 8 last season. This was also the first time I've shot from the bipod and only took a few shots to verify zero. With that in mind, I was able to produce a 2.23 inch group at 100 yards with Remington's 150 grain core locked ammunition, which is more than acceptable for the type of hunting I do here in Wisconsin. I'm confident that more practice with this new setup will result in tighter groups. I've also been blessed with handed down reloading equipment, which I intend to learn more about this winter. My goal is to custom tailor a highly capable hunting round for this rifle by Wisconsin's 2023 gun deer season. Though Boyd sent me this stock at a discounted rate, they are not sponsoring this video. I chose to purchase this stock because of its renowned quality, versatility, and pure beauty. This rifle is truly better with Boyd's. As always, the products mentioned in this video and the gear used to produce it are listed in the video description below. All of the royalty-free music featured in this video was acquired from Epidemic Sound, which I've also shared a referral link for in the video description. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this build. As always, thank you for watching and God bless.